Happy Diwali. What a beautiful, beautiful occasion we are celebrating today. Diwali has so many auspicious and sacred meanings. It's the festival of light. But it's not just this beautiful light in the oil lamp. That meaning of light is so deep and so powerful and so profound. The first lights of Diwali were lit by the people of Ayodhya when Bhagwan Ram came back after being in the forest. Finally, he came back to be the king of Ayodhya. And on this day, as we light these lamps, we don't light them just as a memory of, oh yeah, that one day, thousands of years ago, Bhagwan Ram returned to Ayodhya. No, we light them such that today, the divine, whether we say Bhagwan Ram, whether we say any other name or form of the divine, it doesn't matter, but we light those lamps so that the divine, will come back in our hearts to welcome that presence of the divine in our own hearts. The divinity lives within us, but we forget. Our minds, our hearts, our lives get covered in this darkness of ignorance, darkness of ego, darkness of grudges and pain and false identities. On Diwali, we relight the light within ourselves so that we can see the truth of who we are, so that we can see that divine presence within our own hearts and in our own lives, so that Bhagwan Ram will be visible accessible, seeable, knowable, feelable in our own hearts and in our own lives. And on this beautiful day, as we celebrate Diwali, we give out sweets, we eat sweets. But iska matlab nii that we should just have lots of ladus and lots of mitai and end up with a stomach ache. No. The sweets are that which sweetens our mouth. When you first put a bite of sweet in the mouth, what happens? We smile. Chahe choti si bachi ho. Chahe an old person ho. Doesn't matter how old we are, how young we are, how rich or how poor. You put a sweet in somebody's mouth. First thing that happens, they smile. And so the meaning of those sweets is today, let us make our words and our actions so sweet that whoever we meet, whoever we interact with, whoever we speak to, we should bring a smile to their lips, but more than their lips. We should bring a smile to their hearts and to their lives. And on this, on this beautiful day of Diwali, it's the time also that we go and we clean. We clean our rooms and our homes and our offices to welcome in this, this new year that starts, to welcome in this new time. And as we clean, it's not just the dust under our rugs or the dust behind our refrigerators or beneath our couches. Yes, it's important. Our rooms should be clean. Our homes should be clean. Our offices should be clean. But more importantly, our hearts and our minds should be clean. And so as we take the broom, as we sweep under our carpets, behind our couches, in our homes, may isko bhi yad rakhna hai ki apni dil mein, apni man mein, we have to sweep out the dirt, that dirt of 
holding on to grudges, that dirt of jealousy, that dirt of ego, that dirt of anger, that dirt of separation. You over there, me over here. That's the dirt that blocks, blocks our window through which we see and experience the light of the divine. The sun can be shining outside, but if our window is covered with dirt, light to But agar apni kirdi ki upar itna dust hoti hai, then we don't experience that light. Tik isitra se. That light of the divine is there. That light of truth, of love is there. But if on the window of our hearts and our minds and our thoughts and our lives, there's that dust of ignorance, that dust of ego, that dust of holding on to old grudges and pains, that dust of jealousy and competition, even though the divine is there, even though grace is there, I don't live it. I don't experience it. So we have to clean the dust of our minds and our hearts so that we can live in the light, that light of the divine, that light of love, that light of truth. It's also the time at this new year that so many people celebrate the day after Diwali, that we start new checkbooks, new accounts. But it's not just our financial account. It's the account for our lives. It's the balance sheet for our lives. And so this is the time as we close last year's accounts to also close the accounts of anything that someone has done that has hurt us in the past. Anything that has happened in our lives, just give, I just say, we are holding on. Just give, I just say, aaj tak hum ko dukh ho rahe. Just give, I just say, aaj tak hum suffer kar rahe. Uske account ko bhi close kar nahi. And we need to let it go as we let go last year's accounts, and as we open the brand new checkbook, let us open that new, new day, new year, new us. When water stops flowing, it becomes stagnant, and that's where you get all kinds of diseases and breeding mosquitoes and all sorts of illnesses. In the same way in our lives, when that flow within us stops, then we become stagnant. And that's when a sense of dis-ease breeds and grows within us. So at this time, we need to allow that beautiful divine flow to flow through us, let go of the past, let go of the grudges, let go of the pain, let go of the anger, let go of the false identity I'm the one to whom that happened, or I'm the one who did that. It's a new day, a new year, a new time. And lastly, it's that sacred time where we pray to our Mahalakshmiji. Mahalakshmiji, the goddess of prosperity. But she's not the goddess of cash. She's not the goddess of rupee bills or coins. She's the goddess of true prosperity, true abundance. And abundance is not about how much I have. It's not about mera jeb mein kya hai ya mera bank account mein kitna hai. Abundance is about mera dil mein kitna hai. How full is my heart? Abundance is the awareness that my cup runneth over, that what I have is more than enough and I am so grateful for it. And when I experience abundance, what I want to do is give and share. And so on this time of Diwali, when Maha Lakshmi Ji enters our lives and our minds and our hearts, we realize my cup runneth over.